Hi, I'm Dave Murray from Sunliner Recreational Vehicles and this is our Australian built fifth wheeler. Fifth wheelers are a fairly common style of RV in North America and increasingly so in New Zealand. In Australia however they're still a little unique and there are more than a few urban myths around just to confuse would-be fifth wheeler owners. The purpose of this video is to explain a little about the benefits of an Australian made fifth wheeler so that you can make an informed choice about which RV best suits you and your travelling. Let's start with the basics. A fifth wheeler is a towed trailer, just like a caravan. But the major difference is the way that they're hitched. Caravans are hitched to a tow ball at the rear of the tow vehicle on an A-frame drawbar, whereas the fifth wheeler is hitched to a plate mounted on the tray of the tow vehicle. So the front of the fifth wheeler, or the nose, hitches close to the rear axle of the tow vehicle. Compare this to a car and caravan combination where the ball weight is two feet behind it. The fifth wheeler gives much better weight distribution and more control for the tow vehicle, providing much more stability on the road. This same weight distribution also means that you can comfortably use your fifth wheeler without having to unhitch and still enjoy a stable environment. Fifth wheelers are easy to tow and eliminate a lot of the issues associated with caravan towing. There is less of the snatching, jerking and sideways rock and roll and the risks of fishtailing are almost eliminated. The towing vehicle has a tighter turning circle due to the greater range of rotation permitted. This makes a fifth wheeler a lot easier to manoeuvre into a tight spot. In general, a fifth wheeler is a safer, easier and more forgiving RV to tow. One of the reasons many people are drawn to the fifth wheeler is that you are getting a large interior living space with significantly less travel length on the road. Let's look at this setup behind me. The fifth wheeler is 8.3 metres in length and the tow vehicle is 5.5 metres. Because the RV overhangs the tow vehicle, you can subtract about two metres for the overhang and add about a third of a metre for the gap between the two. You end up with a towing combination length of about 12.1 metres, or 40 feet. Compare this to a 7.6 metre caravan with a 1.5 metre drawbar behind a 4.8 metre tow vehicle, like a Land Cruiser, and you have an overall length of about 14 metres, or 46 feet. Hitching your tow vehicle and fifth wheeler is simple as you've got great visibility. Fifth wheelers make a great option for travellers who are looking for a less demanding style of RV as there is no requirement to physically adjust or move anything. You simply reverse your tow vehicle up to the pin box, ensure the pin and the hitch plates are in alignment. The pin is then channeled into the hitch plate. If you have done this correctly, the unit will lock into place automatically. Now, do your double checks to ensure that the unit is fully engaged and connect the electrics, just like a caravan. Lift up your landing legs and you're ready to go. You might be surprised to know that the weight of this fifth wheeler is comparable to a similar sized caravan. This RV, which is one of our bigger layouts, weighs in at about 2.8 tonne and has a hitch weight of 550 kilos. Now the Ford Ranger, which we are currently using as our tow vehicle, has a tow rating of 3.5 tonne. So this provides a generous 700 kilo payload. These lower weights mean that our fifth wheelers are suitable for our locally available tow vehicles. The fifth wheeler setup places the nose of the RV directly behind the cabin of the tow vehicle. This creates a smooth airflow right over the top. This makes for a much more aerodynamic combined unit on the road, which decreases your drag and improves your fuel efficiency. Well, I hope this clarifies the difference between a fifth wheeler and a traditional caravan. There's a lot to love about a fifth wheeler. I believe they make a great option for the style of travel and the conditions that we enjoy in Australia, and one that I encourage you to consider when choosing your next RV. Thanks for watching and see you on the road.